Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 28 in the series and is entitled Updating and Inserting Multiple Records Using C Sharp. For activity number 28, we will create an ASP.NET website in CASP Activity 28 and we will create an app data folder that contains the SQL Server database called Employee. It will contain a new table called Employees that has four fields, MID, MP name, Permanent, and Basic Salary. Then we will create four records. After that, we will create a web form with a button that when clicked, will update all employees' records by setting the permanent is equal to true. At the end, all records should have a permanent value of true. Let's create our website, file new website. And it's going to be activity. 28. We'll create an update the app data folder. And inside this folder, we're going to add a new SQL Server database. We'll call it employee. And we will create one table called employees and it will have four fields the first is the amp id which is an identity next is amp name which is bar car 50 next is permanent which is a bit And the last is basic salary, which is a float. Let's update our table. Update. Now we will create some data. Start with Ali through 20,000. Followed by Ahmed, false, 14,000, Salem, false, 16,000, and Adnan, false, 15,000. Okay, we'll close it and we will create our web form. Default. Let's go to our design. Let's try to that drag our employees table so that we will make a connection. Be below the grid view, we're going to add a button, toolbox button. Let's change this text to set. Permanent to true. Now let's double click the button using uh, system that web that configuration using system that data and using system that data that SQL client. Now we can create our connection string. Let's make it private string str1 is equal to web configuration manager dot connection strings dot connection string and we'll get it from web.config there, control C. And we'll put it inside the double quotes. Now we can create our SQL connection. SQL connection, let's call it con is equal to new. SQL connection. And our string 
and then our command SQL command CMD is equal to new SQL command this time the operation is a simple update statement where we're going to update the employees table and we'll set the permanent field to true okay double quote comma and the connection sorry should be comma and con so let's open the connection and execute the command execute nine query and close it that close and let's rebind our grid view when dot data bind that's it okay let's just make this execute nine query okay so let's try to look at it in our browser currently only ali is permanent but when we set permanent to true everything is already permanent to demonstrate how to create or insert multiple records in a table we will create a new table called m salary that has three fields salary id amp id and salary notice that the primary keys here are salary id and amp id then we will create a simple mini payroll system for employees that allows the user to enter the salary id in a text box when a button is clicked, the program will compute for the salary of all the employees using the basic salary field, and we will show the records using grid view. So let's go back to our employee database. So we can create a new table called M salary for employee salary, and it will have three fields starting with the salary ID. Uh, and the employee ID and both of them will be considered as the primary key so simply select both right click and set primary key next is the salary which is of type load and we will get it from the basic salary in the other record so let's update it update the database now let's go back to our default web form where we're going to put a text for the salary ID and beside it we will put a text box and a button generate salary and let's go back to server explorer for our other tables and we'll drag m salary so that it will automatically generate the grid view as well as the sql data source okay then let's generate the salary so here we're going to have two connections so starting with SQL connection, let's call it also coin. It's equal to new SQL connection. STR coin. And we're going to have SQL command. Let's say command. It's equal to new SQL command. And we'll simply get all the records from our employee stable. and using connection coin and then we're going to use a data adapter call it add adp is equal to new sql data adapter using our command let's also have a data set let's call it ds is equal to new data set so we can now open our coin 
and fill our adapter with our employee stable then we can close our connection so for every record in the employee stable we will create this salary record so let's this data row let's call r so for every record in our tables employees for each row we will create our second connection connection let's call it con2 is equal to new sql connection of course we're going to use the same string and for our sql command let's call it command2 is equal to new sql command this time we're going to use the sql statement insert into the second table m salary uh, for all its fields starting with salary id followed by m id and salary and for the values we're going to use parameters so let's say at s id for salary id at e id for employee id and at sell for the salary and still we're going to use the con connection oh sorry we're going to use the con2 connection right then um we will open con2 that open and we will define our parameters add with value let's start with our sid for the salary id which will come from text box one that text followed by the next parameter which is employee id or eid which is a row a row from employees and we're going to use the field amp id just convert it to string the last one is also a row and that is from the basic salary field so i'll just copy it so that is for the salary we're going to use the basic salary field basic salary and we're going to make it convert it to string next is we're going to execute our command to that execute nine query correct and we're going to close our connection con to that close okay and at the end of it once all the records have been created we're going to data find, data bind our grid view to so grid view to that data bind again okay let's try to look at it in our browser so at the moment we have four records so let's say that um we're going to create the salary for year 2013 month 04 or april now we'll generate the salary there salary must meet for all the records let's create also for the month of may so that is five generate salary there five well <laughs> congratulations we just finished discussing um updating and inserting multiple records in asp.net thank you for taking the time to watch this video masalama